What's up? So, just got back from Washington competing at Enumclaw for the North American Championship. Was able to win my second in a row. Uh, it's really happy with it. I threw really well. Feeling pretty good and uh, throwing throwing far right now. Um, feeling feeling really good about all my throws and I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of the season. Not a whole heck of a lot of weeks left. Um, I'm in Detroit this weekend. Uh, for a small game there, and then I'm in Tahoe to do the Brute Strength Athlete Retreat, do some coaching, do some relaxing, have a good time, learn some new stuff. And then I'm off to Scotland for a couple days to compete over there, uh, and then back home to rest before the World Championships at Pleasanton, California. This whole series has been the countdown to Pleasanton, since that is the new focus and that is the game I am looking to throw my best at. That one will be an absolute test. Um, Everyone will be there. The, the Definitely the top 10 guys in the sport will be there, as well as a couple others mixed in. And that's top 10 worldwide. So you'll have the two Polish guys, Sebastian Winta and his brother, I believe, as well as Scott Ryder from the UK, and uh, Dan McKim, myself, uh, Matt Doherty from Canada, and, and a couple of the other guys. So every week from here on out is really a test to kind of uh, keep stomping the gas pedal and see what I can find. So, off to Detroit, but here is Enumclaw and enjoy the commentary. A uh, little breakdown, Enumclaw is a little bit different, so we don't throw off grass, we throw off gravel and they lay down these mats and uh, with an AstroTurf on them. And it's, it's a lot more like a track meet and Enumclaw is such a great game. Uh, it's a little bitty tiny town, about 45 minutes south of uh, SeaTac Airport or southeast of SeaTac, whatever, it's a direction. and. Uh, couple cool spots and it's basically like summer camp for the throwers we have a couple days in a not the greatest hotel I've ever stayed in but it's it's part of it um, you know we all end up at the hotel in the little courtyard there between having some beers and laughing way more than we probably should and that's you know that's kind of the real breakdown of why I do the games it's moments like that it's getting to share that experience with these guys and uh, you know able to throw well in the meantime make a couple bucks not too bad so Check it out, enjoy the show, and then uh, I will also have an extra video up soon about the secret event. Cheers. So this will give you a little rundown of the old claw. So claw's a little different. We actually throw hammer uh, without any blades and uh, makes it a bit tricky. So just do kind of wind and release and you realize how much the blades actually do help. Um, and then we get three throws here. Uh, I did not record the first event, which was uh, the Open Stone. Uh, I ended up winning that event through pretty well. Uh, it was raining at the time and didn't feel like effing with my camera since it was raining, so I didn't. Um, I think I took second there in the uh, Heavy Hammer and then on to Weight Over Bar. We do not run a traditional order of events at the, at the Claw, but that is part of the fun. So watching my weight over bar here, there are definitely some mistakes I am making. I uh, ended up clearing 16, which I have all year, but 17 has been out of my grasp. Uh, and so looking at my attempt here at 17 feet that I miss, and I'm going to slow it down and kind of go over it. So one of the things I'm not doing, I'm not dropping nearly enough, and I'm starting to pull the weight early, so it's never really catching a low point. Uh, the backswing should look like a J. It should come in pretty high, reach the back, and then fall between the feet. So you can see it comes in, reaches, and then it never really goes down. Uh, I'm pulling a little earlier than I want to be to get uh, the maximum amount of force. Most of the force I'm actually putting into it is changing its direction there instead of just accelerating it vertically. A couple throws here in the caber. I ended up taking Second or so in the caber, not really sure of the placings I finished in every event. I don't believe I finished out of the top three uh, at any point. Uh, maybe not out of the top two, I don't really recall. But um, caber felt really good this weekend. Things are moving. Still struggling trying to get 12s, but turns were really consistent. Um, I did not record any of the challenge events either, since we did a challenge caber, a challenge sheaf, and a wob, since we already know what those look like, and they're just for funsies. A uh, couple bucks on the line. Um, you see, just a hair off at 12 o'clock there. 
And my last row here ended up being a 12 o'clock. And uh, this was a pretty easy stick for our group. I think almost the entire group turned it just, uh, and three of us ended up with 12 o'clock. So a couple of us, and Jeremy with uh, two 12s. Um, this may have been my only third place, but that was a 12 o'clock. Uh, last event, um, no, second to last event for day one is the heavyweight for distance. Felt pretty good, opened up at about 45 feet, and I think that's where I finished my best throw. Really kind of drifted a little to the left. I'm really not pushing the weight back around to the low point after the cast there. And um, you can see my left foot shifting more than it needs to on the finish, which is, uh, I'd rather have that left foot plant on the finish and uh, really drive up and over it. But with it raining and stuff like that, the turf was pretty slick in throwing shoes, but you do the best you can. Sheaf was uh, not spectacular just due to the fact of uh, the bag was pretty wet and heavy. So kind of did the best we can. Ended up getting a couple decent throws and uh, eventually clearing, clearing 30 feet as we kind of just screwed around with it. But um, there's a really helpful Spencer. He's a great friend. Um, uh, hung a couple out in front of the bar, which is a little strange for me, but uh, so be it. This is the beginning of day two with the lightweight for distance. I ended up going 85 on my last throw and blowing my hand apart. Um, and by that, I mean just ripping a big callus off of the, uh, the, you know, the base of the middle finger. Um, did that on my last throw, and you get a pretty good look at it. But it's a pretty deep, ugly thing, and so it'll basically keep me from throwing and training all week, and I'll just go to Detroit and give it hell. Give it the best I can. So here's the throw that blows the hand apart. Also the throw that I took the event win in with 85 feet. Um, again, the, the mats being kind of dirty just really were uh, kind of a struggle for uh, the, the traction this week. Light hammer here. Uh, same, same idea as the heavy. Really only so much you can do. Uh, and I'm not a very good hammer throw to begin with. Um, this is my best one, I believe, by far, and really what I did different was stay on top of that right side and able to actually do something with it on the finish. It's basically, without without blades, it's just set up, set up, and then push as hard as you can and try to lift with the legs. Yeah. So that's the end of the claw video. Uh, it kind of ends up pretty abrupt there, uh, but that's really all the footage I got. So. I uh, had a good time, uh, really, really love throwing at this game. It's, uh, it's like I said before, it's kind of like summer camp for the throwers. We get a chance to really hang out with just us. And, uh, and not that we don't at other times on the road, but typically when we get to a hotel, we all kind of disperse. And uh, this weekend, with the way the hotel system there is at uh, Enumclaw, we all end up just kind of cruising in out of each other's rooms and hanging out. So it's a great weekend. It's a great game to go. Thanks, Wally and Kayleen, for running such a great one and uh, had a really good time. Um, if you enjoy the training and you're enjoying the vlogs and enjoying all the information I'm putting out, check out thehate.com, really appreciate it. That type of stuff is the selling of t-shirts and things like that I'm using to actually fund all of this video stuff and having some time to actually do that. I've got some nice camera equipment instead of just junk. I've actually got a microphone on the desk to have some decent audio. And uh, I'm trying to do a little bit more than shoot things on my cell phone. So if you're into it, you like what I got, spend some cash, buy some hats, buy some shirts. And there's my shameless plug for the week. Uh, other than that, enjoy yourself, have a good time, and uh, be in Detroit this weekend.